there, it's Stephanie, the Crafty Medic. If you saw my last video, you know that my craft room is a mess. Today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of something about that. I have shoe boxes and hard drives full of photos, as I'm sure you do too. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at an easy and fun way to get all those photos into albums and out of those shoe boxes and off those hard drives without spending a lot of time or money doing it. So let's take a look at Project Life by Stampin' Up! So I wanted to introduce you to my Project Life by Stampin' Up! 30 Day Challenge. What we're going to be doing during this challenge is we're going to be taking our photos that are sitting on our hard drives and our computers and we're going to be getting them into albums. So I'm actually going to be using my parents' wedding photos from about 30 years ago. It's their anniversary coming up so I wanted to make them a nice album. These are actually three and a half by five, uh, which are a little bit small for the pages that we're going to be using. So I'm going to get them reprinted from the negatives um, as four by sixes. If your photos are four by six already, you're all set. If you have digital files or negatives, just go ahead and get them printed as four by sixes and you'll be ready to go. For the challenge, you're going to be buying two things. One is going to be a set of pocket pages and the second is going to be a set of cards. So the pocket pages, if you're familiar with Project Life at all, you know what these look like. These are the basic pages. This is page number one. And this is kind of the classic Project, Li Project Life layout. And that's because when you're doing your photo every day or your Project 365 or whatever you want to call it, um, two of these pages will create a week. So you have your title page here and then you've got seven 4x6 horizontal photos, some 4x3 pockets uh, for journaling, for decoration, all that fun stuff. This is, these pages are great if you have all horizontal photos. However, if you have vertical photos, you're going to have to get a little bit more creative. So I've got actually the variety pack, which includes five more different layouts. This is layout two. So for vertical photos, layout three, again for horizontal photos, that includes our four by four. The four by fours are also great if you're printing photos from your Instagram, because your Instagram photos will be square. You can get them printed as four by fours and they'll be perfect to slip into there. And then just instead of using the smaller pockets for your journaling, you can use your larger pockets for your journaling. Or you can use four by six photos as well and have all photos. Or of course you can always mix and match. And then we've got the same layout again for vertical photos in your four by sixes. Five has three four by six spots. It's a little bit mixed up. I really like these pages. And then six has the same thing again for horizontal photos. The card collections, there's five different ones. I'm using the Love Story collection. So this is the box that they come in. This sticker here comes with them in four different languages so you know when they're on the shelf which box it is. Each box looks the same so you need the sticker there just to let you know which one it is if you have more than one. Inside we've got our pocket cards. And these are the 4x3 cards, and they all follow a color scheme. The color scheme for our love story is basic black, basic grey, and whisper white. That's why there's no color in these. Uh, the other card collections all have a lot of color in them, there, and they all have different, different color combinations. Each of the cards is different, and they're different on the front and the back. So while all your pages are going to be very cohesive, they're going to have a very similar look, none of them are going to be the same because all your cards are going to be different. Some of the cards have lots of room for journaling, some of them just have patterns, some of them have sayings on them, if I can find one. Some of them have sayings on them like that. So there's a nice little variety there. So those are the 4x3 cards. We've also got the 4x4 cards. Same story there, and the 4x6 cards, which again, lovely patterns, lovely sayings, lots of room for journaling, all ready to go there. So those are the three basics that you need. 
Now if you want to go a little bit more fancy and you can add some more things to your to your project life experience, you don't have to for the challenge. This is all up to you and you can use whatever product you already have. I'm going to be using the 4x3 grid cards as well. So these just have a fine grey grid on them on one side and they're blank on the other side. These are good if you're going to be wanting to do a lot of stamping, if you're going to be wanting to do a lot of journaling, all those kinds of things. Uh, you'll just have extra cards without having to buy another set of, uh, of the card collections. Speaking of stamping, there are a few Project Life by Stampin' Up! stamp sets, of course. They're all photopolymer. This is point and click, which I may or may not end up using. I've used it a few times for other projects. Um, they're all in our clear mount cases, so they're all ready to go. Now, if you're going to be doing a lot of journaling, you're probably going to want to get the Project Life by Stampin' Up! journaling pens. And these are super nice pens. If anybody knows me, you know I'm a total pen addict. Um, and these are some of the nicest uh, markers I've ever used. They come in two different widths, so there's the super fine and a medium. So whatever you like to write with. They're about $5 for both pens and they fit nicely into your Project Life box there. If you want to do any journaling in other colors, you can as well. Just use our Stampin' Write markers. I'm going to be using the real red a little bit. So again, fine tip for journaling, and then we can use the brush tip to do some coloring as well. I'll be using that later on. If you are familiar with Project Life at all, you'll have noticed that the cards are all square cornered. Normally Project Life has the corners rounded. This is on purpose, so these cards, without having to do any trimming, will coordinate perfectly with your photos that of course come with square corners. If you want to go for the more traditional Project Life look, however, you can get a corner rounder punch. So this corner rounder, you'll be able to round the corners of your pictures, of your cards, anything you want. You can do some, you can do all uh, to round the corners and uh, give you a bit of a different look. Now every card collection also has an accessory kit. So this is the accessory kit for the Love Story collection. So again, it coordinates with the whole collection. We've got washi tape, so this is a nice silver washi tape. And then the kits always come with some kind of uh, other embellishment. So for this one, we've got some sequins. We've got some white, some, bra some black, and some silver. And then we've got some specialty cards for the love story. They've got the silver foil. So there's some nice sayings and stuff, all with the silver foil. And these fit in your box here as well. And then we've always got some alphabet stickers, and I'll be showing you how to use those later. So those are all in there, ready for you to use, and they fit into your box as well. And then we've got some regular stickers as well. So here we've got just some printed stickers. These are some die cut words and some shapes. I don't know if you can see those or not. And then we've got some silver foil stickers as well. And then that all tucks back into your card collection box and sits on your shelf. Doesn't take up a lot of room. Last but not least, you may want an album as well. So I've got the Stampin' Up! 12 by 12. It's got the D-rings, lots of room for lots of pages. It's a black leather. You'll be able to use any 12 by 12 three ring binder. Uh, I just really like the Stampin' Up! one, so that's what I've used. So again, for the Project Life by Stampin' Up! 30 day challenge, you're going to be buying a pack of the divided pages and a card collection, which will come to $35 with taxes and shipping and everything. And you'll be ready to start and have a chance to win some great prizes and get all your photos into an album.